Okay, now the synchronous TDM. Uh, we may be more interested in this because it's digital signal. Okay, uh, this one. Okay, we use like when the capacity of the transmission medium is higher than the data rate. For example, if you have 10 minutes to speak, every one of you have 10 minutes to speak, but you take turn, right? So, so I have to have, you know, if you have 25 of you, I have to have 250 minutes for you, so that everyone can speak for 10 minutes, right? But, but maybe, 20, maybe 10 times, maybe you speak one minute, one minute, one minute. The first time for 25 students, and then go back again, the first students, talk for the next minute, for her second minute, and then we go, okay? And then the third time, again, and again, and again, like this, okay? Until 10 times, so everyone can speak for 10 minutes, okay? Um, now, I'm, I'm trying to, to, to make an analogy here, an example here, so please go back and read, it will be, similar to what I'm, what I'm trying to tell you. Um, like this, okay, if you assign to, um, to someone, time slot you assign to someone, no one else can speak. For example, um, I always forgot your name. <laughs> you are Araya, but you are someone else, not Araya. What's your name again? Chodi Pat. Oh, why do I? Uh, Chodi Pat. So suppose the part has the time slot of nine, uh, one o'clock and three minutes and two one o'clock and four minutes, right? So when you speak, if you have nothing to speak, the line will become idle. No one else can speak. So suppose you speak one minute, one minute, one minute, and go to so the part one has nothing to speak, then the line is idle. It's not sending anything. I know, okay, it's like silence, okay, if in the room is silence for that minute, but no one else can speak in that minute, okay, then again for, for the next one, Ponsini, right, Ponsini may speak, and then Pong Parimat, very difficult name, <laughs> Maybe we're not speaking, so it's silence, right? So it's idle, 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 like this, and someone else have to wait. Everyone else have, have, have to wait until that time. Okay, so we see that it will waste capacity, right? If only a few people want to speak, suppose a man with want to speak, okay, and but no one else want to speak, but a man with have to wait for the like maybe 10, 10 minutes. Right? You have to idle for 10 minutes before it becomes his time to speak. So it's waste the capacity, okay? But the good thing is that it's very simple to, to do. For example, if I record a voice, the, just your voice, and I don't look at your face, okay? Just record the voice and not the image. And when I listen to the voice, and I, I can know who is talking, right? Because if it's uh, not, if it one o'clock and fifteen minutes to one o'clock and, and and sixteen minutes, it have to be the the fifteen students, right? You know, I, because I know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. Your name, Kasitin, right? So if I know that, if it's uh. 1 o'clock 15 minutes to 1 o'clock 16 minutes, it was assigned to Kasitinad. So when I listen, if I record or read the voice of everyone talking, okay, start to Pokemon, right? So I, have, I record, okay, someone talk one minute, one minute, one minute. If I speed dial to the, uh, I go to the, the, the minute 15, I know it has to be Kasitinad's voice, even though I may never hear her voice before, okay? And she is not identified with anything. When the time comes, she's just speaking what, what, what she is, she wants to talk, okay? And she doesn't have to identify herself that I am such city not. She doesn't have to, because we already know with the setup that we will go like this and everyone has a time, specific time to speak. But then we go back again, suppose uh, 25 already and go back and um, this one, suppose, is the slot 30, 
Okay, now it has to be positive again, right? Because it's the the number five for the next turn, something like that. So this is what the the good point about the um, using a synchronous TDM. What you are sending all what you are sending are data. So if everyone have something to speak, it will be very efficient, right? Because what you are sending is like everyone one one minute, right? So everyone is talking. So you take turn talking, 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 talking. So it's there all the frame you are sending, there are all data. You don't have to say identify, I am Pokemon, I am uh Ponsini, I am um Naravit, something like that. Okay, so let's look at this example. And multiplexer is also very simple, okay? You have some kind of a contact. A contact, okay? And then you have um you know, this is like a closed circuit here. Okay, so it's closed circuit that it accept the signal, the data from A. Okay, so suppose A has like six, um, six, six, uh, six byte, for example, six byte of data to send. So at first it send the, the first byte, okay, and then B send the second uh, B send one byte C D A B C D. Okay, you get the first frame, and then the next one you get A B C D again and A B C D. But for the fourth time, okay, B has nothing else to send. So it's gonna be A and then blank, idle, okay? Not no one is sending and then C and D. And then for the next time it's A and then waiting, waiting, and D, okay, something like this. Okay, so we waste some capacity over here, but we um but all, all of what we are sending are all data. At the receiver, okay, this one, this one go out first and it will arrive first, okay. So you have a contact again, okay, like this. So this one will be A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, like that, okay. So you, this is a um, communication between this computer and this computer, okay. This is very old computer, but it's still, <laughs> the idea still work, okay. And this one and this one, like this. And I told you before about the statistical TDM, right? That I say it's not in the sheet. Um, statistical TDM is more complex than synchronous TDM. This is synchronous TDM, okay? For statistical TDM, you can see that it try to solve the problem, okay? Of someone don't have anything to say. Suppose again, I want to, want to want to speak and he has to wait one, he has to wait 10 minutes, right? Before he can speak in the synchronous TDM. But if statistical TDM, he doesn't have to wait. If, um, if I give the mic, okay, and you have nothing to speak, okay, we can go. We can go to the next person. For statistical TDM, we can go to the next, to the next, uh, you know, like, like no one want to speak, right? Uh, maybe I, who want to speak, raise, raise his hand, for example. So you are the first one who want to speak, okay? Then among with, have to identify. This is a man with speaking. And then you just talk. Okay, so you have to identify yourself before you do speak. Because right now, we don't know who is speaking, right? If we record the voice and we don't see the image. Because now it's not in order anymore. You are not specified that you speak at this one o'clock and 10 minutes to one o'clock and 11. It's not specified like the synchronous CDM. So anyone can speak out of, you know, because it, it, will, it will kind of go, you know, uh, start with the first person and then go in turn, and then you are the first one who want to speak, so you have to identify. This is the one who's speaking, and then you speak one minute, okay? And then go to, huh? What's the name again? Titapon. Natapon. It's like, almost remember. <laughs> <laughs> Natapon, which is similar to, close to my son's name, but I still always forget your name. Why is that? Natapon, so, so uh, suppose Natapon want to speak next, so I Natapon have to say, this is Natapon speaking, and then you speak, okay? But I think mean, yeah, I remember. <laughs> the girls, I remember, right? <laughs> but I mean, yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, suppose I mean, yeah, don't have anything to speak, I mean, yeah, just skip. You know, you, you just you just skip and then go to what's the name again? Natcha. 
please go into the front so that I remember your name next time. <laughs> That, that child have something to speak, that child had to identify herself, okay? Now, by identifying um, herself, it will waste some time, right? It will waste some time to say, I am not child speaking, and then the data, okay? So for statistical TDM, it will be like this. The frame will be, have some overhead, okay? Okay, suppose this is A, A want to speak, this is A data, A identify that I am A, okay, and then this one may be D, and this one may be C, uh, another turn, okay, this is the first turn, done. Maybe the next time C want to speak for a long time, okay, and then D want to speak, Okay, so you can see that um, instead of sending only data, you have to also send the header. This is the extra bit. That we may call, sorry. The which, is, which are the headers, okay? So if everyone has something to speak, maybe you start from the back, Tatev, okay? If that, no, suppose the next time, okay, we start from the back so that I don't keep repeating your name over here. <laughs> Tatev, what to speak, right? And what's his name? Excuse me? Huh? Niti Pong. Niti Pong. <laughs> Niti Pong. Oh, I'm not loud enough. Sorry. Niti Wong also want to speak. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Anaya want to speak and Kanya want to speak. Okay. For so want to speak. Everyone wants to speak. If everyone wants to speak, okay. So Tatev has to say, I am Tatev speaking. And then you speak, right? Then Niti Wong, I am Niti Wong speaking. And then you speak, okay. This is my recording the voice, okay. This, what, this will be lower efficiency, right, than the synchronous CM. Because of the synchronous CM, if everyone wants to speak and we assign a slot, you just send the data. You don't have to identify your name. Do you know the difference now? For synchronous TDM, you know the time that you can speak. Exactly. You are, you can, you are allowed to speak at this time slot. So when, when the time comes, you speak. You don't have to identify your name. Because when I listen to it after that, or someone else listen to it after that, they can know who, who is speaking by looking at the list, you know, they, they know who, will, who is the first, the second, the third. But statistical TDM, since you can skip someone who is not talking, you have to identify yourself so that people will know who is speaking at that time. Therefore, if everyone is speaking, which one has higher efficiency? Huh? If everyone has something to say, which one has higher efficiency? Huh? Synchronous, right? Because you don't have to send header. You just talk, 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 talk. So, so, you, so you use only like 25 cents, 25 minutes, okay? But if you have TDM, a statistical TDM, suppose you have extra maybe 10 seconds to, to speak your name, then you have 25 minutes and another 250 seconds, <laughs> okay? You know, extra header, okay? So synchronous TDM is good when a lot of users want to send but statistical DDM is better when only a few want to send. Okay, because it's, it's good to identify yourself and skip 10 people, right? You do just 10 seconds, but you, have, you can skip 10 minutes, right? Okay, you get it now? <laughs> so that, the, that is not in the sheet. 
um, okay now let's look at the standard again I don't want to get into this much um, because we, we have okay we have the two standard okay we have the North America and Japan standard this is one standard called DS DS1 okay um, or the the DSS 123, okay? But we have another standard, it's called ITUT, International Telecommunication Union, uh, Telecommunication Unit, I think. This one. You can you can search in Google, okay? Just put it there. So get the, 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 the long the correct name. Uh, this one is internationally, so Thailand use this one. In the DS1, we multiplex 24 channels together. So instead of having Instead of having, um, you know, four, instead of having four channels here, we have 24 channels, okay, for the DS, DS um, for the North America standard. For the international standard, we have 30 users combined together, okay, multiplex into one frame. So that's the difference. So we will have different data rate, okay. Again, I don't want to to spend too much time on this because just you can look up the standard, okay? But you can see that uh, level one, 30 channels, and then th level two, you combine four of this into level level two, and then this one, you combine four of this into le level three, so it's kind of a step up, you know? What I'm trying to teach you next is this. Um, at first, we, our our signal okay was mostly voice voice signal okay and the TDM is the TDM is the like di carry digital signal okay because it have to carry in the time slot it carry digital signal if you remember we do have um. Okay, we say that the voice spectrum is about four kilohertz. Okay, we give suppose this is our voice spectrum. Okay, so it may be in 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 time domain. Okay, it can be maybe like this. Okay, this is our voice now. If you want to sample this, okay, to get a, not a very good <laughs> picture. Uh, if you want to sample this, to get um, To get a digital signal, okay, you will first you will sample, right, and then you will quantize, right. So how much to sample? You know the sampling rate, okay? Do you know the sampling rate, the sampling frequency or the sampling rate? Equal to at least two times f max. Have you have you heard of this? The Nyquist rate, okay? So what is F max? F max is here. F max is four kilohertz. So it has to be at least eight thousand hertz, right? Eight thousand hertz, right? So you sampling eight thousand hertz, which means that you sampling eight thousand samples per second. This means that you have to sample, okay, in one second. You have to sample 8,000 times. You take the sample, 8,000 samples in one second, okay? To get the um, PCM signal. Then, then you need to quantize it, right? To quantize it. In the standard, we use one byte or 8 bits for one of the samples. So each of these, okay, it's maybe uh, 
Okay, so it will be like one byte. Okay, for one samples. So you have eight thousand samples per second, right? And um, and you also have one byte per samples. Okay, so you multiply this with um, multiply with this with eight bit per sample. So what do you get? So you get sixty four kilobit per sec, right? So you have to send sixty four kilobit per sec because in one in one second you generate by the PCM by the sampling you generate eight thousand samples. Each of the sample you need eight bits. Okay, so you have 64 kilobit per second. This is one voice channel. One voice channel. Now, to send with a synchronous TDM, what we do is that What we do is that in every frame, okay, this is let's say the first frame, the second frame, the third frame, and so on. In every frame, okay, we divide this into slot. Each of the slot is one byte or eight bits, okay? So if A can send um, okay, suppose uh, Niti Pong got the first one. Okay, A, this one is A. So A is allowed to send in this in this slot. A can send only one byte. Okay, so suppose this is uh, the first, you know, the first data, the first data go here. And then the second one, the second uh, sample has to go to the next frame. This is A again because take turn, right? Take turn. A send. And then someone else sending, and then go back again, A send again. Okay? So A send, A send, A send. So every time A send is only one byte. Every time A send is only one byte. So how many, how many samples, so, or, or one sample, okay? One sample that you take. So how many frames do you have to send per second? How many frames? 8,000, right? Because you have 8,000 samples in one second. So the signal, the voice signal that I'm talking, you know, like in the telephone, and we want to make it digital, okay? Sending with the TC, TDM. So I generate, the signal is 8,000 samples per second. So I have to send 8,000 frames per second in order to accommodate, right? Accommodate for A, right? Because I have to send one frame, only one one by one sample, okay? So 8,000 frames per second that I have to transmit, okay? Now, that is voice. Now for the data, actually data, they can, can use different other, um, I mean different data rate. However, they want to use the same, the same, um, they want it to be compatible, okay? So that the TDM frame can send multimedia, can send both the, the voice and the data and the image and everything. So they will use the same 64 kilobits, okay? To send the other signal, okay? Suppose I have another, suppose B want to send A, okay? A send voice, okay? B, I want to send image, okay? So I have uh, my board here, <laughs> okay? So B, I want to send, um, which is, <laughs> try again. <laughs> Maybe this one is more, you know, <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay, so I have my image, right? So B, want to send an image. B, want to send image. What do we, we do. We will divide this into pixel. Okay, the image into pixel. And suppose one pixel is one byte. Suppose one pixel you use eight, 
you quantize so we eight bits for one byte okay so so one pixel is one byte so when we want to send we send okay we will send the first go here the second go here the third go here okay so the second slot will be B information which come from an image the first one can be the data from voice the second can be the the data from the image and C may want to send a text file okay so C can send also send the data from the text file okay one alphabet two alphabet three alphabet something like that okay so TDM okay doesn't care if you got something like this okay in a TDM okay TDM doesn't care where the data come from TDM just if, if it have okay one slot two slot three slot okay TDM just send it in, in, in term of slot it doesn't care where the um, I mean like the first slot belong to A the second slot belong to B this one we go back to the synchronous TDM okay uh, so so this belong to different users but it doesn't care where uh, which application it come from so it can combine everything okay you can combine everything you can send voice send data send image in the same frame so in the same frame of TDM you can mix like all of the user application now suppose we want to use um, suppose D and E okay D and E they want to use only one only uh, 62 kilobit per sec sorry instead of 62 they want only um, each okay they want to send only 32 kilobit per sec each what do they do okay they can pair up okay maybe and uh, Ariyat, they can pair up, right? So, may, so this time maybe Ganyapat uh, send for the next time another one send. So this one maybe D send here, but for the next frame E send, for the next frame what D send, for the next frame E send. So D will send every other frame, right? D will send only every other frame so the data rate will go down by half right from the 64 kilobit per sec for one channel become only 32 bit kilobit per sec because it send every other frame now if F want to send um, more okay F want to send F wants 128 kilobit per sec what do they do okay so you have F has to send two slot. <laughs> this is how you decide. Okay, so F send two slot, right? So one slot it have sixty four kilobit per sec. So if you send two slot in one hundred and twenty eight kilobit per sec, something like that. Okay, so you can decide kind of flexible. Okay, in a multiple of or the divided by this. Uh, okay I think we will leave it over here and we will go back to talk about flow and error control next time thank you